نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وأزواجه أجمعين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقتتم من لساني يقه قولي ربي زدني علما أجمعين إن شاء الله May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Nice to see you brothers and sisters, inshallah. We are going to start our lessons. We were in exercise number five. Huh? Okay. Uh, but we will do five again. Huh? Just to revise it, make you strong. Remember brother, a small Hamsa, five special noun. Okay. Here we are doing two. Abun, Akun. We have already got some idea of Zu. Remember? And then there's a Hamun and there's a Famun. Huh? What is so special about it, brothers and sisters? When they become Mudaf, their vowel signs change. So they are. Marfoon Bilwal. They are Marfoon Bilwal. Mansubun Bil Alif. And Majroorun Bil Ya. When does it happen? When they become Mudaf. That's all. Otherwise, they are normal. So, here we have fill in the blank spaces Abun. We start again with you, Brother Muhammad. Huh? What will you say? Abuna, Brother. Huh? You will say Abuna. Why will you say Abuna? Huh? No, it is our father. But why we say Abuna? Because it is Marfu. Huh? This is Jumla Ismiya. So what is Abuna? Mudaf, Mudaf, Ilehi. So where is our Muftita? Abu. So how will you describe it? Abu. Uh, Abu. Mubtada. Marfu'un. Wa alamatu rafa'ihi. Alwa'u. Li'annahu minal asma'u khamsa. You want me to write it again? Uh, inshallah I'll write it again. Huh? And in everything, brothers and sisters, you will insert this sentence. Huh? This sentence will come in many, many places, brothers and sisters. So inshallah, you will have no difficulty, inshallah. You will have no difficulty, inshallah. Hmm? Okay. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Same will go with Akhu, and also it will go 
that and it also will go with Does it make sense? Uh, Inshallah, uh, Brother Hassan? Yes. Susra Hafsa? Sumaya? It makes sense, Inshallah? Huh? See, wherever you will see one of those nouns with wow, then they are marfu. Now, there, is, there could be many reasons for its being marfu. Uh, one is its muptada. What is the other? Uh, it, its file. Okay, Abba, same way, if it is uh, mafulun bihi, then it will be mansub, or if it is in ismu inna, it will be mansub, huh? see, and then if it is mudafilehi, then it will be majroor, or if there is a harf jar in front of it, it will be majroor. Huh? So, Brother Muhammad, the first sentence was, Abuna. Tajirun kabirun. So what is abuna? Muftada. So how do we describe it? Abu, muftada, marfu'un, wa alamatu rafa'ihi, al Oh, why? Then we answer it because, li'annahu min al asmail khamsati. And then you will also add, huh, brother? What will you add? I forgot to write. You will add, Wahua muda, and then you'll add wahua muda. In all of these, you will add this sentence. Okay, brothers and sisters. So then, and then now you will say mudafun ilahi. Now, there is a lot more to write about now, but we are not going to do it now. Uh, later on, uh, in book three, we will do. Because here, just listen to it. You may feel this is too much to swallow. But let me assure you, you are all going to become experts. And you will do it in, in a fun way, in, you know, loving it and doing it. Huh? So, na, what is na? Abu na. Huh? Brother, are you listening? Damirun muttasilun. It is attached pronoun. Mabniun ala sukun. Because there is an alif with na and there is sukun on it. And what is it doing here? Mudafilihi. So, what is mudafilihi? Fi mahali jarrin mudafilihi. Are you with me? It will come to you. Don't worry. Huh? And remember, if you just come to memorize few sentences, they are just playing around. There is nothing new. They are just playing around. Huh? Inshallah. Next one, Brother Hassan. Li Abina. Li Abina. What is Li, brothers and sisters? And what, what will you write after that? You will write down like this. Abi and then na. So li harfjar, what is abi? Isam majroor. Wa huwa mudaf. And then na mudaf Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So if you were to write down abi, then you will say ismun majroorun. Wa alamatu jarrihi al yau li annahu min al asmaul khamsa. Wa huwa Muda. Huh? Okay, very good. Brother Abdul Samad. Raita Abana. Did you see our father? Raita huh? Abana. What is Aba? Mafulun bihi mansubun wa alamatu nasbihi al alifu li annahu min al asmaul khamsa wa huwa muda. Brother Said, would you like to do it, brother? Very good. Fatima, 
Huh? Is Muannas. So what will you say? Aina Zahaba Abuki. Huh? What will you say? Abuki. See, Zahaba Abu. So what is Abu now? Fa'ilun Marfu'un. What will you say? Fa'ilun Marfu'un. Not Muftada, but Fa'ilun Marfu'un. And everything is same. Remains same. Fine. Brother Abdul Mukim. Ha, mashallah. Kharaja Abu. Ka. Excellent. Huh? Very good. So, what will you do with Abu again? Fa'ilun marfu'un. Sahih? Huh? Okay. Uh, Brother Salim? Huh? Is Ali. Is Ali Abaki. Mafulun bihi. Huh? What is Is Ali? Who wants to analyze Is Ali? Fellow Amarin, Mabniun Allah, Mabniun Allah, Azvinun, Sister Abda, MashaAllah, may Allah bless you. Zadakillahu ilman, may Allah increase you in knowledge and all of us. Huh? What is the actual verb? Tas Alina. What is it? Tas Alina, MashaAllah. So, is Ali is your fellow Amrin Mabniun Allah Hadfinun? Where is the file? Ya is your file. So, it is a monas. Is Ali Aba? Mafulun bihi. Is Ali Aba ki? Because it is monas. Ya Zainab. And then Aba, how will you write down? Mafulun bihi mansubun wa alamatu nas bihi. Al Alifu li Annahu min al Asma al Asma al Khamsati wa huwa mudaf. Okay, brothers and sisters. Okay, uh, okay, Nusrat. Huh? Ana Arifu Abaka. Same Mafulun bihi. Wa huwa Mansubun. Then Alamat and wa huwa mudaf. MashaAllah. Ana Arifu Abaka Ya Osman. What will you how will you translate? I know your, I know your father, O oh, Osman. Huh? Sister Rahima. Yes. Ya Bilal. Katapta Risalatan. Risalatan. Huh? Risalatan Ila Abika. So Ila Harchar Abi Isam Majru. Wahua Mudaf and Kamada. How is Madina? She's okay? She, she's not feeling well today? Okay. Brother, you are asking Bilal. Huh? So, yeah, Bilal, Katapta, did you, you know, you wrote? You can even say, Kataptu is not incorrect. I wrote. And if you say Kataptu, then it means I wrote. A letter to your father. And if say Katapta, you wrote letter to your father. Both can be correct in its own place. Only the translation will change. I wrote a letter to your father or you wrote a letter to your father. Uh, Sister Arifa, Samiyatu, and Abaha. So what will be Aba here? Ismu inna mansubun. Wa alamatu nasbihi al alifu. Li annahu min al asma'il khamsa. Same thing. Wa huwa mudaf. Very good. We are done. Now we come to Ahu. Sister Aisha. Aina. Ya Salma. Aina. Ahu ki. Aina. Ahu ki. Where is your brother Ya Salma? Okay, since we are not analyzing uh, questions, so we don't want to go, but it is marfu. Aina aku kiya salma. Sister Mamuna, kharaja ma'a mashaala, mashaala. Excellent. Kharaja akuha ma'a akhi ka. So first, Ahu is your file, and then next, Ahi is your 
mudafilahi ma is zarf and after zarf we got mudafilahi wa huwa mudaf and again mudafilahi is it clear sisters i always say aapki khamoshi mujhe pareshan karti hai okay so ahu here file and ma is zarf and then akhi will be mudaf ilayhi majrurun wa alamatu jarrihi al yau lianahu min al asma' al khamsa wa huwa mudaf and then ka mudaf ilayhi very good brothers and sisters uh sister nasreen yes min akhi ka ha akhas tu i took akhas tu i took alfa mafulun bihi mansubun wa huwa mudaf riyalin mudaf ilayhi min akhi ka again to so min came akhi is ism majrur ha how will you translate sister nasreen akhas tu مشاء اور اظن ان اخاه طالب ما شاء الله ما شاء الله ما شاء الله الف وهو مدا ما شاء الله ما شاء الله سي الحمد لله now you are getting ها huh? and it's but in arabic to do grammatical analysis is a fun This is the fun part, yeah. huh? Okay. Now, Sister Samaya, Abu Hasu, An, I am searching, An, An Akhika, because An is harf jar, the Akhi became ism majrur, mashallah. So you will say Akhi is ismun majrurun wa alamatu jarrihi al yau li an nahu min al asmail khamsati wa huwa mudaf. Is it clear? Alhamdulillah, you can keep that mind. And zu, za, zi will also have the same analysis, brothers and sisters. And there are two more which we'll do in book three, inshallah. Al kalimatul jadida tu, safirun, ambassador. What is the plural? Safarau. Can you give me another plural on this pattern? Fukarau. What is the pattern? fu alau fu alau that is the pattern fu alau mashallah see now it makes a lot of sense to us you know mufattishun what is the plural mufattishun what kind of a plural is this juma jama mudakkar salim mashallah here is another broken plural brother shurtiyun a policeman what is the jama Shurtatun, shurtatun. Okay, this is broken plural. Okay. Amidun, amidun. Din. What is the plural? Umadau, like sufarau, fualau. Very good. Maridun. Another pattern of plural. Marda. What is it? Marda. Maridun, marda. All these things will be repeated in book three, brothers and sisters. Motaka idun retired. Okay. Taraka yatruku bab. Taraka yatruku bab nasar. Very good. Ha. What is this, brothers and sisters? Allafa to write a book or to author it. Allafa. Four letters. What will be the mudaria? You allifu. Allama yuallimu, sabbaha yusabbihu, kaddara yukaddiru. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? 
These are all coming. And before we start book three, brothers and sisters, we are going to devote maybe two sessions or more on learning these ten forms of war. So that when we go, when we go in book three, brothers and sisters, every verb that comes, which is not a three-letter verb, will stop and figure out what kind of a form it is. This process, this exercise, will make you very strong. And brothers and sisters, when you know these verbs, the Quran is going to open up uh, its treasure to you, inshallah. So we finish. Now we, we go to lesson 26. Remember in book one, when we were doing lesson number four, when we were doing lesson number four, if you remember, brothers and sisters, Aina Hamidun Kharaja. Remember? Okay? Kharaja. Huh? And then we stopped and we said we must celebrate because the verb has come for the first time and then we tried to learn. There are three letters in the verb and we call them Fa Kalima, An Kalima and Lam Kalima. And in English we call them first radical, second radical and third radical. Now, so far we have been doing the verbs which did not have wow or ya. Because wow and ya are weak letters. Okay, if they come anywhere in these three radicals, they make the verb weak. Okay? If it is on fa kalima, wow or ya, Okay, then they, we specify it. Huh? Okay, how do you specify it, brother? And we call it Al Misal. From next week, I will request you to bring a small copy of Quran. Huh? Always bring it in the purse. Because instead of writing on the board, I'll just tell you to open up and then we'll study. There are many verses I have in my mind. I was waiting for this, these lessons to come to give you. And inshallah, you will love them, brothers and sisters. Here, brothers and sisters, Muatallun. What is it? Muatallun. Huh? Weak. Muatallul fa'i. Weak of fa. Huh? English, what will you say? Weak of first radical. Then, and this we call it Mesal. If I say Muatallul aini, weak of second radical, we did it. What we call it? Ajwaf, mashallah. Huh? And then the finally it will be Mu'atallul Lami. Nakes. Huh? So these are coming now in sequence, one after another. So as I was saying earlier, these lessons are very important. Try not to miss it unless you have an emergency. Huh? Don't miss it, huh? brothers and sisters. So if the first Radical is wa or ya. It, we call it misal. Huh? Misal. Huh? Now, if it is wa, then we say misalul wavi. What will you call it? Misalul wavi. And if it is ya, misalul yai. Huh? Misalul yai. Huh? That is also further identification. Huh? It will come. Ajwaf al wavi. Ajwaf. Al yai, nakis al wavi, nakis al yai. What does it tell you? 
If I say nakis alwawi, what does it tell you? The lam kalima is weak, but it has got wow. If I say nakis al yai, then the last letter is ya. If I say ajwaf al wawi, then in the middle there is a wow. If I say ajwaf al yai, then the middle is ya. Are you with me, brother and sister? In this lesson, we are only doing misal al wawi. Hmm? Misal al-Wawi. Dr. Abdurrahim does not mention any verbs in Misal which starts with Ya. Huh? Because it has got again a different thing. Misal al ya behaves normally like a sound verb. Huh? Like a sound verb. But Misal al-Wawi does not behave. Huh? Later on I'll give you a couple of examples inshallah. Brother, when we are doing this, we go straight to the verbs. Huh? Go to the next, after the main lesson, go to the page. From this lesson onwards, your keys are extremely, extremely important. Always read the key and you will get a good idea, inshallah. We are going to read the key also. Okay. هذه أمثلة لفعل مطل فاي. Are you with me? These are the examples of weak letters, brothers and sisters. The weak letters are called harf harfu illa harfu illa tin harfu illa. As you know, we drop the harfu illa, right? You must make sure you know this very well, brother. Harfu in Latin. Huh? Big letter. Wajada. Huh? No changes in Madi. Okay, ready? Can we conjugate Wajada? Everybody? Wajada, Wajada, Wajadu, Wajadat. Vajadata, Vajadna, Vajatta, Vajattuma, Vajattum, Vajatti, Vajattuma, Vajattunna, Vajattu, Vajatna. No changes. Vajada, to find. And then Vakafa, to stand. Okay. Vazana, to weigh. And then Vasala, to reach. Vajaba, it is necessary. Vada, he promised. Walaja, he entered. And wada'a, my brother and sister, to put. And wahaba, to bless or to bestow. Uh, brothers and sisters, with make a brackets, starting from wajata up to walaja, this is all bab daraba. Are you with me? Oh, the, you have a new, but old book has it. Old book. Uh, old book. What is it, brothers and sisters? From uh, Vajada up to Walaja. Make a bracket, uh, brother Hassan. In any case, there are no new books for book three. <laughs> you have to. We all have to have. Old book three. Huh? Huh? And then Vada'a and Wahaba is Bab Fataha. What is it? Bab Fataha. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Fine. So Vajada, if I say it is Bab Daraba, huh? then it should become Yav Jidu. What it should become? Yav jidu. Sahi? Daraba yad ribu. Vajada yav jidu. What is here? No wow. Vajada yajidu. What happened? Wow is no longer here. Because now this is abnormal. This is not normal. Huh? Why it is like that? 
because it is a weak verb. So in misal, madi is okay, but when it comes to modarya, then the fa kalima is dropped altogether. So this is not normal. Don't expect things to be normal with weak letters. In other words, the verbs with weak letters do not behave like normal verbs. Hmm? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So if I say yajidu, after that it's easy to conjugate. Ready? Yajidu, yajidani, yajiduna, tajidu, tajidani, yajidna, yajidna, huh? tajidu, Tajidani, Tajiduna, Tajidina, Tajidani, Tajidina, Ajidu, Najidu. Huh? Are you with me? Okay. So how will you now? Uh, five in your pocket. Yajidu, Tajidu, Tajidu, Ajidu, Najidu. Huh? Simple. Huh? Fine. Now, there is no more complications. Huh? Except... When you come to Tajidu, I write it, brother. Tajidu. How do I make Amar? I drop this and I give Sukun here. What is it? Jid. I, do I, can I pronounce? Yes. yes. So I don't need Hamzatul Wasal. We only brought Hamzatul Wasal when we were not able to pronounce it. Huh? So it's jid. When you stop at the corner, what is our sign? Kif. When you go to Middle East, it will say kif. Stop. Are you with me? Kif, where is the file? Jid, where is the file? Mustatir, takdiru anta. What will be the next one? Jida, jidu, Jidi, Jida, Jidna, Jidna, okay, got the idea? So it's very easy in a way. Okay, now, as we drew a bracket, so we know Vakafa, Mudarya, Vakafa, Mudarya, Yakifu, okay, Vazana, Mudarya, Yazinu, Vasala, Yasilu, Vajaba, Yajibu. Huh? Wa'ada Ya'idu. Walaja Yaliju. Now comes Baf Fatah. Wada'a Yadahu. And Wahaba Yahabu. So, brother and sister, Wahaba Yahabu Tahabu. Make Amar from Tahabu Habu. Huh? Rabbana Hablana. See? Rabbana hablana. Now when you say this dua, brother, first we must understand what we are saying. When you say Rabbana, it is Ya there. Maybe somebody is in front of you. Allah is very close to you. He is closer to you than your jugular man. So he is closer to you. You are talking to him. Hablana. What is hab? Fialun, Amrin, Mabniunara, Sukum. Where is the file? Mostate. Takdiru, Anta. When do you say Anta when somebody is in front of you? So he's, Allah is in front of us. We got to feel, have those emotions in us. And we say, Rabbana, Hablana. You who is standing in front of me, I'm beseeching you. Huh? I'm begging you. Huh? So we are now in communication with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The knowledge of the language will produce these feelings in you. And you will feel things differently. You will say your salah with a different emotions, inshallah. Huh? So here is hablana. How many times it has come in the Quran? Huh? Okay. So this is it, brother. Wada'a yada'u. And then Amar will be Da. And Wahaba, Yahabu, Amar will be Hab. But I think on the next page we have Amar. 
Go to exercise three, brothers and sisters. Takifu, how do you make? Okay. What is the sentence? La yahtaju ila hamzati. You do. The, there is no need for hamza. Lianna awwala hu mutaharikun. Because the first letter is as a harakat. Huh? Are you with me, brother and sister? Mutaharik means harfu. Harfun mutaharikun means vowel sign. Are you with me, brother and sister? Write down this. Huh? Harfun muta hari kun means got the idea brothers and sisters la yahtaju ila al hamza li anna awwalahu mutahari kun because the first from uh, kif the first letter ki is with a vowel sign. So you don't need hamzatul wasal. Clear? Okay. Uh, Sister Fatima, it's your turn. Tazinu, make amar. Zin. What is it? Zin. Tazinu, you took out ta, you took out gave us sukun. That's it. Job done. Sister uh, Naima, Taidu Id. Huh? Sister Sukhaina, Tahabu Hab. Huh? You see? And then uh, Sister uh, Abir, Tadau Da. Da. See? All the time it comes Da in the book. Huh? Put. Okay? Some idea you got, brothers and sisters? And now you, we will know how to make majzoom and mansub, fial mudari. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters, we move forward. Lesson, main lesson. Ya huh? fadilata shaykhi. Oh, respectable sheikh. Huh? Oh, honorable sheikh. Nuridu huh? an nashtari. See? Mansub, when it is a weak letter at the end, you give a fatah. Huh? Put vowel sign there, nashtariya, if there, it is not there. And can I request you to highlight it? Just the last one, ya, with fatah. Highlight ya with fatah. So that when you are reading, you know, these things will stand up. They'll come to you and you will know why. It is nashtariya. Okay. This is how you make a nakis verb mansub. Hazal mojama. Alladhi maka. Translation, brother. We want to purchase this dictionary which is with you. Which is with you. Well, I nana, but we la. Najiduhu, we do not find it. La, this is la nafia. Huh? Okay. Fil maktabati, in the bookstores. Hmm? So, an nashtariya, huh? master muawwa. Huh? Mafulun bihi for nuridu. If I change this into proper master, huh? The master is Shira'un. Huh? I want you to just feel it, you know. Some of you will get it. Some of you may not get 100%. But eventually you will get it. So, Nuridu needs Mafulun Bihi. So, Shira'u will become Shira'a. What will it become? Shira'a. Huh? Okay. And what will become Hada? Nuridu. Shira'a Hazal Hazal 
هذا موجامي ترانسليت اكزاكتلي ذا واي اي هاف ريتن وي وونت پرچیزنگ آف دس ڈکشنری ہاؤ ول یو ٹرانسلیٹ اف یو ہیو ٹو ٹرانسلیٹ ورڈ فار ورڈ یو ول سی وی وانٹ پرچیزنگ پرچیزنگ آف دس ڈکشنری بٹ یو ڈونٹ نارملی سی لائک دس سم ٹائمس یو مائٹ بٹ نارملی یو ول سی نوریدو ان نشتری حاضر معجمہ Are you with me, brother? Keep these sentences in mind. Huh? Uh, because if now you find it difficult to comprehend, uh, later on it will be easy. Huh? I had given you one example in the beginning. Kharashtu min al-fasli li ashraba al-ma'ah. Are you with me? Do you remember? How will you say if you translate ashraba? Because an is hidden there. Li an ashraba al ma. How will you you will translate ash an ashraba into master? Li shurbel ma'i. Huh? That mafulun be he became mudafili. Are you with me? Huh? Okay, I'll write down. Huh? One more time. Huh? Inshallah. Kharashtu li ashraba al maa. So, an is hidden there, brothers and sisters. Li an. This is hidden. So, what will you say? Kharashtu li shur. Bil ma i. Write it down. Try to ponder over it. You will get it. And if you don't get it today, please don't worry. We are going to repeat it many, many times in book three. So in in here also li ashraba. Li an ashraba, so an ashraba is master muawwal. And it because of li that master muawwal is now majroor, because of li, you know. And if you don't say shurb, then we call li la mutalil. But as soon as you, an ashraba change into master, then li becomes harfchar. Now this is advanced, huh, brother and sister. But you are now very strong. You can comprehend, inshallah. What is mother is saying, brother and sisters? Tajiduna hu. What is tajiduna? Fairun, mudarion, marfuun, bi thubuti nun. Where is the file? Alwa. And what is who doing here? Mafulun bihi mafi. Tajidunahu fi maktabil kabirati. The big bookstore. Allati, again, Allati is a naat. Amama zarf al masjidi mudafilayi. What will you call Amama al masjidi? Silat al masul. What will you call it? Silat al masul. Tajiduna fiha. You'll find in it. Mu'ajama, see, mafurun bi for tajidu. Arbiyatan, wa ajnabiyatan, wa masahifa. This is the plural, brother, masahifa. Mushafun, masahifa, mushafun. Min biladin. If you don't have two kasras, put two kasras. Miladin, biladin. Mokhtalifa tin, this is your naat. Wa suhufan, what is suhufan? Newspaper. What is singular? Sahifatan. Sahifatan. Min Badr Hassan, he comes again here. Min Jamil, anahail alam. From all over the world, from every corner of the world. All over the world. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? You will find newspaper. 
from all over the world. Is this okay? Biladin, Biladin, plural countries. Huh? This is plural. Huh? And why, why is this a Sukhaina is Mukhtalifa tin? Why tin? Kullu jama'a muannas. That is the answer. Kullu jama'a muannas. So naat becomes muannas, singular. Bilad is plural. But the naat becomes, don't forget this. Kullu jama'a muannas. You know? And when you teach, when you will stand up and teach, you will relate this story. Huh? How this uh, thing came about to be. Huh? Okay, fine. Ya dukhulu Ahmad. Ya Fadilata Shaykhi, Ana la ajidu mahfazati, mahfazati. What is mahfazati? This is two words, mahfazati, my wallet, mahfazatun. I don't, mafulun bihi, wa huwa mudaf, and mudafilihi. Mahfazata, and then mudafilihi. Okay. Afiha nukudun kathiratun. What is the translation? A lot of money in it. Huh? Naam fiha fiha salasu miyatiriya. Now we analyze it. Huh? This is a nice sentence. Fiha jar majur shubu jumla khabar mukaddam in advance. Where is our muptada? Salasu mashaala. See now your mind can really understand. Huh? Salasu is your muptada. Wahua mudaf and miyati mudafilehi and then. No. Wahua mudaf and Riyalin mudafile. Yeah? Like that. Huh? Mudaf mudafile, mudaf mudafile. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. May Allah bless you all, brothers and sisters. Okay. Aina wadataha. See, wadata. What is the meaning of wadata? Where did you put it? Huh? See here. Wada, ta, and ha. Fiel, file. Mafulun bihi. So, so simple, brother. Vada, ta, ha. Fiel, file, mafulun. Vada, tu, vada, tu, ha. Same thing. I put it alal maktabi. On the desk. Huna, here. Wa kharashtu, okay. <laughs> I wrote down the sentence and it is coming here. Wa kharashtu, li, ashrabal ma'a. Change it, brother, into proper master. Kharashtu li shur, shurbil mai. Kharashtu li shurbil mai. Got the idea? Huh? Inshallah. So, li ashraba. Who made ashraba man, fail mudariya mansu? Did the li make it? No. There is an unhidden mudmara. Unmudmara. Huh? That made it, inshallah. Huh? Al mudaris. Lima wada'ataha. Lima wada'ataha. Alal maktabi. Why did you put it on the desk? Haza khata'un kabirun. This is a big mistake. Haza khata'un kabirun. This is a big mistake. Yajibu. This is a very beautiful word, brother. Okay. What is the madi? Wajaba. Yajibu. Most of the time we will come across Yajibu. An Harful Nasbin Wa Mastarian. Tada'a Felun Mudarion Mansub. File Mustatir. Takdiruhu Anta. What is Ha? But I am saying this, I hope you are understanding. Inshallah. Now I give you a clue. Remember, amkana yumkinu? What is the normal pattern of file in amkana yumkinu? Do you remember? Amkana yumkinu? A yumkinu ni an ajalis huna? Where is the file? Ah, an ajalisa. Huh? Is it possible for me to sit here? So an ajalis is al julus. Yumkinuni al Julusu Huna. Are you with me? Remember? I hope you 
we will revise these lessons, inshallah. So here, brothers, most of the time, Yajibu will have its file, Al-Mastar, Al-Muhawwal. Huh? Make a note of it. Underline it. So where is the file here? An-Tada'aha. So what is An-Tada'a? Mastar Muhawwal. Huh? Putting of it, okay, that is your file. Huh? But how will you translate it? It is necessary to put it in your pocket. Huh? And other to put. Remember? Or you can say it is necessary putting off it huh? in your pocket. Huh? Putting off it. Huh? You can say anyway to put, sister Mayanas, or putting. These are all infinitive and gerund, huh? which is equal to master muawwal. Huh? Huh? Fine, brothers. So, yajibu, fairun, mudariun, marfun, vidamma. Fine. Where is the file? Master Mohammed. Huh? Then you will again go on. An harfun nasbin wa masdariyin. Tada'a, fairun, mudariyun, mansubun, bil fatah. File mustatir, takdiruhu anta. And then you will say, al master al muawwal. What will you say? Al Master Al Muawwal Fi Mahalli Rafain. Rafain, because file is marfu. Fi Mahalli Rafain Al Fail. Now, brothers and sisters, I again, I again uh, request you uh, do not uh, feel uh, despair that you are not understanding everything. But I have a strong feeling that most of you are getting there. But if some of you are still weak, don't worry. It will be repeated, Brother Muhammad, many times in the next lessons. And you will become strong, inshallah. Huh? Okay. Because you missed uh, two, three days, I will request you either you can phone me or you can phone Sister Mayanaz. Huh? Uh, and, and she will explain you. And also, you can phone uh, Sister Nusrat. She will also explain you. Okay. Or, in the break, ask this sheikh in front of you. <laughs> Mashallah, both of them are good. Especially Brother Abdul Samad is very strong. You can ask him and he will explain you, inshallah. Alhamdulillah. Okay, now the question is, Awajada ahdun Yes, Sister Rahima? Yes, Sister Mafulmi. So I will do it again here, brother. Yajibu, Felun Mudarion, Marfun Bidamma, An Harfu Nasbin, Wamastarian. Okay? And Tada, Felun Mudarion, Mansubun, Bilfata, File Mustati Tadiru. And the, what is ha? Mafulun bihi mansubun. And al master al muawwal fi mahalli rafa'in fa'i. Ma'i fazatahu. Ya ikhwanu. So, brother, wajada. Where is the file? Ahdun. What is the meaning? Did anyone find his wallet, O oh brothers? Khalid. What does he say? Lam Najidha. Lam Najidha. Huh? Or he could have said Ma Vajad Naha. Vajad Naha. But instead of that, Lam Najidha. Okay? Yeah, we did not find. Huh? Brothers and sisters, Vaduha. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim wa duha wa layli idha saja ma wadda'aka rabbuka wa ma kala wa la akhiratu khairun laka min al ula wa la sawfa yu'tika rabbuka fatarda alam yajidka yatiman lam yajidka yatiman fa'awa wa wajadaka we are going to analyze everything 
inshallah. Huh? And brother, once you know this, and when you say in your salah, you are not translating, you are savoring, you are enjoying the sweetness of the, 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 the Quran in its original matan. Huh, and, and you will feel the difference, you know, inshallah. Okay, so here it is. Lam najidha ya shaykhu. Umar says, ha hiyadhi. Here it is. What is ha hiyadhi means? Here it is. Huh? Something is missing and all of a sudden you find it. So you express, express it this way. Here it is. Ha huh? hiyadhi. And, and if it is a... See, mafadatun is a... Muanas. But if it is kalam or kitab, then you will say, ha huwa za, like that. Huh? Okay? It is coming also in the lesson. In naha, it is, tahta kursi yi. In naha, what is ha? Where is khabar in naha? What is tahta? Shebu jumla. Zarf, shebu, you will say zarf, shebu jumla khabar. Huh? And then you will define kursi mudaf ilahi. Wa huwa mudaf. And then he mudaf ilahi. Very good, brother. Khudha. Take it. Khud. Filu amrin mabniyun ala sukun. Where is the file? Mustatir takhdiruhu anta. And what is ha doing here? Mafulun bi. Okay. Then after. Khudha, what is after? No, wa is ataf. We can e easily mistake in it as a fa kalima. Wa uh, da'a. No, it is wa and da. Amar. Fialu amar mabni. Da'aha. What is the meaning of da'aha? Put it. Huh? Take it and put it. Where? Fi jaybika. In your pocket. Got the idea? I would request you to circle wow so that you do not confuse it as a part of Wada. Because the, it is same fa kalima. Huh? So it is ataf. Huh? Or you can highlight it. Mashallah. Mashallah. Kama yakumu. To stand up. Yakumu yahya. Wa yasiru. Are you with me? Kama yakumu, sara yasiru, to walk slowly. Yakumu yahya, yakumu yahya, yahya stands up, wa yasiru, and he walks, nahwa. Nahwa means towards. This is zarf again. Huh? Nahwa is zarf, and nahwa al mudarrisi, mudafilehi. See how, the, how beautiful the dialogues are, brothers and sisters? How beautiful that they are? Kif ya ulaid. Kif. Stop ya ulaid. Ulaid, brother, now we are going to learn. This is something very beautiful. Very, very beautiful in Arabic language. Huh? It is called ismu tasghir. Diminutive, diminutive noun. Huh? They are used most of the time for endearment, to express your affection and love, but sometimes also to make fun of somebody, insult somebody, to insult somebody. But most of the time it is uh, uh, for endearment. So this is very, very beautiful expression in Arabic. Now we have to understand there are many different forms of ismu tasghir, you know, saghir, make it short, diminutive, Nouns. It's all in the key. Inshallah, we are going to read the key also. Okay. Brothers and sisters, the pattern is Fu'ailun. Uh, if you can write down the pattern, Fu'ailun. What is the pattern, brothers and sisters? Fu'ailun. See, fa'ala is there all the time. In the patterns you will see the fa'ala. Huh? If the noun is three letters, only three letters, okay? Waladun, how many letters are there? Three. Kitabun, how many letters are there? Four. Four. 
So that will not apply here. Kitab has got four. Huh? But anything which is three letters, this formula will apply. And you from Waladun, you will make it Walaid. Abdun, Ubaid. Zahrun, Zuhair. Jabalun, Jubail. Everything is small. Nahrun, Nuhair. Kalbun, Kulayn. Are you with me? See, when uh, the first grandchild was born to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he named them he, who, who, Hassan. And he named him Hassan. Handsome. Uh, perfect. Hassan. Beautiful. And when the second grandchild was born, in our you know, Indian Pakistani tradition, Chota Hassan. What you call it? Chota Hassan. Means, first is a Bada Hassan, the next is Chota Hassan. That's what you call them. Huh? But not in Arabic. Hassan, when you say small Hassan, Hussein. On what pattern? Isn't it beautiful, brother? So when you say Hussein, it means small Hassan. So all the names that you see, Sohail, Humaid, these are all on the pattern of Fuai Hilun. I thought this was very cool. Huh? This is very cool, brother. Hada Shayun Kulun. So here it is, brother Fuai Hilun. So it is Wulaidun. Remember, it is for endearment and sometimes insulting us. Rajulun. Rujal, you know, you call somebody Rujal means shouty, <laughs> Tingu. <laughs> okay. So, like in Ibnun uh, Bunai. You know, in the Quran, Ya Bunaiya. This is endearment. Uh, it is Mutasvir. Uh, inshallah, we are going to learn more. Okay. Kif Ya Wulaid. Stop, O oh, little. Uh, boy, Aina Turidu and Tazhaba. Where do you want to go? <laughs> okay. Ya Fadilata Shaykh, Arju, I request. Arju also means please. Huh? And Arju means hope also. It comes from Raja. So actually it is hope. Then now when you say Arju, then it means request and also. In English, we don't say, I request. What do you say? Please. It means I request you. Arju and Tasmahali. I Please permit me. Huh? I request you to permit me. Bidzahabi. Bidzahabi. Bi harjar. Zahabi is a majroor. What is Zahabi? Master. From where? Zahaba. Huh? Okay. My, well, look at this. Change it, brother. Arju an tasmali bi an azhaba. Bi an azhaba. Because it is for me, you know. Huh? That I go. Lianna. Because abi. Huh? How many words are in abi? Two. So where is the ismu? Lianna. Aba. Aba. Huh? That became abi. Huh? Abi. Yati. What is Yati? Coming. Coming. Ata Yati. Remember, we did it last time. Ata Yati. Okay, brother, I write down again. Ata Yati. Brother and sister, five in your pocket. Be careful. There is a Hamza there. Uh, yati, Tati, Tati, Ati. Uh, what is it? Ati. And then Nati. Not Na. Then Nati. Because you can easily say Ati, Nati. No, no. Ati, Nati. Uh, again. Yati, Tati, Tati, Ati, Nati. Okay. Keep that in mind. Yati, Al Yauma. Ilal Madinat 
til munawarati. Translation, brother. Please allow me to go because my father is coming to Madina Munawara today. MashaAllah. Huh? Now the question. Mata yasiluhuna. When he is arriving here. Huh? When he is reaching here. Tasilu huh? ta'iratu. Where is the file? Ta'iratu. That is why it is tasilu. Tasilu ta'iratu means the plane is reaching. A plane is arriving. Are you with me? Min Judda from Judda Fisatil Wahidati at one o'clock. Okay, it's arriving at one o'clock. Mata Vasala Abuka Ila Juddata. Mata Vasala Abuka. Translation When did your father reach Jadda? Vasala al Barihata. What is al Barihata? Zarf. Huh? Like al yawma amsi al barihata is zarf. Yesterday, last night. Wasala al barihata. Barihata is zarf. Zarf is zaman. What is the teacher saying? Idhab bisura. Idhab bisura. Go quickly. Huh? Go quickly. Idhab bisura. Bakiya. Now, what is bakiya? This is mahdi. Uh, this is Mahdi. Can you see the last uh, Kalima? It is Ya. Huh? But uh, if there are no two dots, put two dots. Bakiya. Hmm? Bakiya Nesfu Saatin. Where is the file of Bakiya? Nesfu. Uh, only half an hour is left. Okay. Au Akallu. What is the meaning of Akallu? Less than that. We are going to learn about this. Akallu is ismu tafdil, comparative degree, superlative degree. But it is here, comparative degree. Akallu, half an hour or less is left. Okay. Isma, listen, listen. Arju, antatiya, antatiya. See, antati ya. Sister Hafza, tati. Ya, yeah, make it there a proper fatah on ya, so that in future you will always be careful about that. Huh? Tati ya. Why tati ya? Because it is nakis verb, and in nakis verb, when you make it mansub, you put a fatah there. Huh? Because in mudarya, it is only yati, but if you make it an, then it will be yati ya. Tati ya. Huh? And tati ya bi abi ka ila baiti. Now, write down one more thing, brother. The board is getting filled up too much now. Okay. Atayati means to come. Now I write down something else, brother. Ata vi. If you say atayati, it means to Come. But Sister Fatima, if you put after Atta V Harfchar, then the meaning changes to to bring. Are you with me, brother? Keep that in mind because Harfchar can change the meaning. And this is very common in English too, you know. Preposition will change the meaning. You know, if you use different prepositions, the meaning will change. So Atta V means to bring. Huh? So what is it, brother Isha? Arju antatiya bi means please bring your father. <laughs> what is the meaning? Please bring your father ila baiti to my house. So again antatiya, okay, that is your master muawal, mafulun bihi for arju. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Fine. And B half jar, and what is Abi? Abi ismun majrurun wa alamatu jarrihi al yau li annahu min al asmail khamsa wa huwa mudafun. 
Are you with me? See how clever and far-sighted Dr. Abdurrahim is, you know. The, all these sentences that he, are, he is you know, putting in the dars uh, with a small khamsa, he had to explain us a small khamsa. So that's why he explained us fully in the previous lesson. Now he will bring all these things. And inshallah we will understand with ease, you know. Everything, every sentence of Dr. Abdul Rahim has a purpose. Every lesson has a purpose. And only that purpose, nothing else. That, that makes these books exceptional books, brother. Exceptional. Because you will not find this kind of information anywhere else. After you study these books, then you will find all other books easy. Because then you will be able to take some from every book, you know. But foundation can only be established with Madina books of Dr. Abdurrahim. Alhamdulillah. May Allah reward him in both the worlds because his services are invaluable. For the last 35 years, he has written these books, never charged a penny for, for uh, royalty, not a penny. Once I joked with him, I said, Dr. Sahib, if you had charged royalty for the last 35 years, you would be sitting next to Bill Gates. You would have made a lot of money. Okay, but he is doing this, Fisa Bilillah. So we will also, when st we stand up and teach, inshallah, we'll do Fisa Bilillah, inshallah. Because there is nothing more precious in the world than getting the pleasure of Allah. Huh? Inshallah. Huh? Fine, brothers and sisters. Inshallah, okay, again, inshallah. We are going to learn what inshallah is. Inshallah. And when you will learn, it will shock you. <laughs> okay? Because in is a shart. It's a, it's a conditional sentence. We are going to learn in book three. Sa'atika. B. Again, B has come. Remember. Sa okay, if it is sa'ati means I will come. Huh? Sa'ati would be I will come. But Sa'atika B, I will bring. Are you with me? Atika huh? Bihi. Atika Bihi. Okay? Gadan. So here, you can translate, I will bring him to you tomorrow. Or you can say, I will come to you with him. If you want to say but I will bring him to you tomorrow. Ba the salatil asri. Clear, brothers and sisters? Inshallah? Hmm? Uh, he is for Abu. For his father. Be, what is be he, brothers and sisters? Jar majr. Uh, no, I will bring him to you. That will be the... Uh, okay, inshallah. Okay. So when, uh, brothers and sisters, you must remember, when the Pronoun joins noun, we get mudaf mudafili. When the pronoun joins preposition, we get jar majru. And when we get, we have pronoun joined by zarf, we get zarf and mudafili. Uh, inshallah, you'll remember. When the pronoun joins a noun, we get mudaf. Mudafilehi. What did I say? When the pronoun joins a noun, we get mudaf. Mudafilehi. When the pronoun joins preposition, we get jarun wa majrurun. When the pronoun Joins a zarf. What do we get? We get zarf and mudafilehi. Did you get it? Yes. Inshallah. Number one, we did it. Okay, brothers and sisters. We did number one. We did number two. We did number three. Now we do number four. Mata tasilut ta iratu min barisa. Translation, brother. Mata tasilut ta'iratu. 
arriving, arriving or re, huh? reaching from Paris. What is the answer? Tasilu Fisati Hadiyata Asharata One Nisfi. Brother, here I want you to think. Huh? There are no typos. I want you to put Hadiyata Asharata in bracket or highlight or highlight or bracket. Hmm? What is the meaning of Hadiyata Asharata? 11. MashaAllah, 11. 11. Huh? Brother, I see here Fisati. Huh? And then it should have been Hadiyati. Huh? Okay, it's not. Why? <laughs> MashaAllah. 11 to 19, they are Mabni Allah Fatah. Huh? It is Majroor. But it is Mabni Allah Fatah. That is why. 11 to 19, we got to remember. They are all Mabni Allah Fatah. And Nisfi became proper. Hmm? Okay, brother and sister, very beautiful sentence. Yajibu alayna. What is necessary on us? An nafaham al Quran al Kareem. What is an nafahama? Change into master. Fahamul yajibu alayna. It is must on us understanding of the Quran. Wa na'amala bihi and put it into practice. Are you with me, brother and sis? Huh? Okay. How beautiful it is, brother. Now, yajibu. Fihalun madarion marfun bidamma. Alayna jar majroor. An nafahama. It is your file. Faham. Quran al Karim. Now, if you were to put faham, how will you then put it? Sister Manas, how will you put it? Yajibu alayna fah an nafahama change into proper master. Fahamu al Quran ni wal kari me. Got the idea? Uh, write down somewhere. Uh, Fahamu al Quran nil kari me. If you want to write down, that is, if you want to change master muawal, it will change like this. Otherwise, an nafahama al Quran mafulun bihi for nafahama. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? These are small, small things, but it will help you later on when you are reading Quran. It will open up so many things for you, brother. Wa na amala. Why it is na amala? Why it is na amala and not na amalu? Mautufun ala nafahama. Mautufun ala nafahama. Is it clear, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Call Ali Tabibu. Doctor said to me, Da. Azal kursa ala lisan. Ala? Ala lisan. What is the translation? Put this tablet on your tongue. <laughs> Put it on your tongue, this tablet. Thumma mablahu and swallow it. Ibla, what is the word? Ibla. Uh, what is the madi? Balia. Balia yab. Yablahu. What is the meaning of balia? To swallow. Uh, write down, brothers and sisters. Balia, to swallow. And if it is Baliya, it has to be Yabla or Baf Samiya. And Amar will be Ibla. If you can write down, write down, brothers and sisters. I will write down here. Baliya Yabla and Amar will be Ibla. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Very good. Sa tajiduni, sa tajiduni fil baiti ba da salat al-ishai. Inshallah. 
Satajiduni. What is Tajidu? Fehlun, Mudarun, Marfun, Bidamma. Where is the five? Mustatir. Takdiruhu? Anta. You will find me. What is Noon? Nunu Vikaya. And where is, what is Ya Mutakallam doing here? Mafulun Bihi. You will find me in the house. Abdul Salat Ali Shah. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? See, now these sentences, uh, you can easily understand, Alhamdulillah, and you can easily translate, Alhamdulillah. <coughs> Kifuna ya saik. Who is the saik? Driver. Saka ya suku. To drive. Driver. Kifuna ya saik. Stop here, oh driver. Why? Ana uridu. An Anzila. I want to get down. Make An Anzila into master. Ana Uridu Nuzula. Nuzula. Ana Uridu An Nuzula. I want getting down here. Okay? Zinli. 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 Wazana Yazinu. Zinli. Wait for me. Kilograman, that is your mafulun bihi. Minas sukkari, ya bakkalu. Weigh for me one kilogram of sugar. Sugar. Oh, bak, oh, green grocer. Okay. Ya salma, da'i adal kitaba ala maktabi. Translation, brother. Put this book. Almighty. Okay, now analyze da'i. Fiyalu amrin. Sisa arifa. Fiyalu amrin. Mabniyun ala hadfi noon. Because it is noon that has been dropped. Huh? Huh? And where is the file? Yeah. Huh? Huh? Yeah. See? Okay, let us do, brother and sister. Anta tada'u. Then Tada ani, tada una, and then tada ina. So when you say tada ina, brothers and sisters, tada ina, how do you make amar? What is left now? Dai, dai, felu amarin, dai, felu amarin. Mabniyun ala hazvi noon. And where is the file? Yeah. But these are simple things, you know. Inshallah, you will keep in your mind and you will become very strong, inshallah. Limaza takifu hina yaakhi. Translation. Limaza takifu hina yaakhi. Why are you standing here? Stop. Uh, stopping here? Ejilis. Please sit down. Okay. La takif fit tariq. Do not stand in the straight. Okay. This is very beautiful, very beautiful verse. See, now from now onwards, Dr. Abdurrahim will bring verses of Quran uh, into the dars, inshallah. Kaal Allahu, Kaal Allahu, Azza wa Jal. Uh, Azza wa Jal, like we say, uh, Ta'ala, Allahu Ta'ala, you know. So put Azza wa Jal into bracket. Huh? Because this is parenthetical sentence. It has got nothing to do with what is coming. For example, whenever we say Muhammad, we say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So that is a parenthetical sentence. Huh? So Azza wa Jal is a parenthetical sentence. Fi surati sabi'in. Ya'lamu. What is the meaning of Ya'lamu? He knows. He knows. What is the Mahdi? Alima. Alima. Write down Alima if you are not 100% sure. You know? Write down Alima. Ya Alamu. He knows. Ma Yaliju. What is the meaning of Walaja? To enter. What is the meaning of Walaja? Dakhala. Walaja means Dakhala. He knows. Ma Yaliju. Fil Ardi. 
Okay, brother, now I am putting you to test. He knows. Knows what? What is ma here? Ma furun bihi. But it is ismu mausula. Ma al mausula tu. Huh? So it is mafulundi. And what should come after that? Suratul Mausul. Alhamdulillah. Vama. That is ataf. Allah. Other previous ma. Yakhruju minha. Vama again. Wow and ataf. And ma goes back to the first ma. Yanzilu mina samai. And what comes from the sky? Wama ya ruju fiha. What is the meaning of ya ruju to ascend, huh? to go up, to ascend, brother and sister? Araja ya ruju, bab nasara. Araja ya ruju. You see, I will, you know, request you. That it will be a good habit whenever a new verb comes and you are not. It is for the first time and you are not 100% sure. Write down Madhi Mudarya. So that when you are revising, it will make it easy for you. And few, after a few times, it will take a permanent residence in your hard drive. <laughs> okay. Okay. Inshallah. Vama. Uh, that is Ataf. Allah. Other previous ma. Yakhruju menha. Huh? Vama again wow and ataf and ma goes back to the first ma. Yanzilu minas samai. Huh? And what comes from the sky? Vama ya ruju fiha. What is the meaning of ya ruju to ascend? Huh? To go up. To ascend, brother and sister. Araja ya ruju. Babna sara. Araja, ya ruju. You see, I will, you know, request you. That it will be a good habit whenever a new verb comes and you are not, it is for the first time and you are not 100% sure, write down Madhi Mudarya. So that when you are revising, it will make it easy for you. And few, after a few times, it will take a permanent residence in your hard drive. <laughs> okay. Okay. Inshallah. وَمَا يَعْرُجُوا فِيهَا Okay. وَهُوَ الرَّحِيمُ غَفُورُ But the وَأَتَفْ What is هُوَ مُبْتَدَى Where is the khabar? Rahim is your khabar. Number one and khabar number two is fine. غَفُورُ قَالَ تَعَلَى فِي السُورَةِ الشُورَى لِلَّهِ مُلْكُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْعَرْضِ يَخْلُكُ Ma yashahu. Okay, again, yakhluku. Fialan mudariyon marfun bi damma. Fail mustatir. Takdiruhu. Huwa. Where is the mafulun bihi? Ma. Ma mausula. Are you with me? Fine. And what is yashahu? Silatul mausul. Yashahu is a complete sentence. What is maadi? Sha'a. Ajwaf. Sha'a yashahu. Where is the file of Yashahu? Where is the file of Yashahu? Mustatir. Takdiruhu huwa. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So here, brothers and sisters, you will say Yashahu is your Jumla Fahliya and it is coming as a Silatul Mausul. Yahabu. What is the meaning of Yahabu? He bestows. He grants. Huh? Okay, he bestows and he grants. Liman yashahu. Liman to whomever he wants. Okay, but li harjar. Where is some majrur? Man. And what is man? Here man is also ismu mausula. What is it? To whom? He wishes. So, but man is ismu mausula. And what is the Yashahu here? Uh, Silatul Mausul. Uh, is, remember these things. Wa yahabu liman yashahu inasan. What is inasan? Of course, I, we know it's lakia. 
But what is it? Mansu. Why it is Mansu? Mafulun bihi. For which verb? Huh? No. Huh? Yahabu. Huh? Yahabu. It, it ends there. Huh? Inasan. Wa yahabu liman yashahu al-dhukura. So dhukura is mafulun bihi for wahaba yahubu, inshallah. You got the idea? Don't you find this interesting, brother? I was fascinated by these things. When you, you know, learn it, you know, alhamdulillah. Okay, brother, will you take a break to recharge our batteries? Okay, brother and sisters, we are back from our break. I hope everybody got their batteries recharged, inshallah. Tamal, ponder. Tamal al amsilat al atiyat lil ismi. Mosaggar. Mosaggar means uh, diminutive noun. Huh? Okay. I think now it is time for us to go to the key and read a little bit. Huh? In this lesson, we learned the following. Number one, we have learned that most Arabic verbs have only three letters which are called radicals. <clears throat> the first radical is called fa, the second is called ayn, and the third is called lam. And we say fa kalima, ayn kalima, lam kalima. These names are taken from the verb fa'ala, which has been taken as an example for all verbs. It has become a pattern for all verbs, fa'ala. If one of the three radicals is wow or ya, the word is called al mu'tallu. Al mu'tallu means weak. Okay. If the first radical is wow or ya, the verb is called mu'tallu fa. Weak of fa. It is also called misal. Huh? Okay. We will now go by the name of misal. Huh? If the second radical is wow and ya. The verb is called Matallul Aini. Week of Ain. Achiba. If the third radical is Vav or Ya, the verb is called Matallul Lami. Now, this is week of Lam, it is called Nakis. Okay? If two radicals are weak, the verb is called Al Lafif. Al Lafif. Okay? In this lesson, we learn the misal verbs. We have examples only of the words having vow as the first radical. Okay. Now I'll write down on the board example of ya. Yaisa. See, when you go to Modaria, nothing is dropped. Huh? Nothing is dropped. So this is Misal al yai What is it? Al-Misal huh? Al-Misalul Ya. Are you with me? Yaisa, to become despair, to lose hope. Yabisa, to become dry, to become dry. Eh? Yatama, everybody knows Yatama, to become orphan. Eh? Orphan. Yatim ho Orphan. Orphan. Eh? 
Huh? Are you with me? Now you see, Yatama, this is Bab Daraba, Yatama Yai Timu. And this is Yabisa Bab Samia, Yai Basu. Yaisa Ya Asu. You want some extra meanings? You go to, inshallah, look into the dictionary. Okay. Now, we are not touching this. And in this, no changes take place. But if it is al-misalul wawi, then all the changes are taking place in the mudariya. Al-misalul al wawi Or wawi. In this lesson, we learn the Misal verse. We have examples only of the verb, verbs having vow as the first radical. Okay? Vakafa, Vazana, Vada. There is an abnormality in Mudarya of the Misal verb. The first radical vow is lost in the Mudarya when it is vow. Okay? Okay. Vazana became yadinu instead of yawzinu it became yazinu huh? like yajlisu and after the omission of vow it becomes yadinu okay the same way uh, wakafa yakifu instead of yawkifu wajada yajidu instead of yawjitu wadaa yadau instead of yawdau so vow is dropped the amar from tazinu is zin no hamzatul wasl is needed at the beginning as the verb does not commence with a sakin letter. Huh? The amar of tadau is da. Okay, now we come to here, brothers and sisters. Walaid is the diminutive of waladun. Okay, the diminutive form is used to indicate smaller size for endearment. For endearment. Huh? It has a pattern of but the, the noun has to be three letters. If it is four letters and five letters, it has different patterns. So do not, uh, you know, try to make a ismu tasgir from something which is more than three letters. Then it will be wrong on the wazan of for ailun. Only three letters. Huh? Okay. So you see, zaharun flower, zohair. Nahrun river, nohair. Abdun Ubaid Hasanun Hussain. Got the idea? Huh? Okay. Bahrun Bukhair. Bahar is the sea. Bukhair is the lake. Small sea. Huh? See how logical Arabic is. You know, how beautiful it is, brother. Ha hu waza, here it is. This expression is used when a person or a thing you have been looking for suddenly appears. The feminine form is ha hi azi. Here I am is ha anaza. Now comes very important, brothers and sisters. Yajibu is the mudari of wajaba. So yajibu literally means it is necessary. It is wajib. It should. It should be. Yajibu alayna an nafaham al Quran. We should, we must, it is wajib on us to understand the Quran. Brother, reading Quran and not understanding, uh, that's not fair. We didn't do justice to the Quran. In fact, we did injustice. That we have the guidance of Allah and we don't understand. We are going to be asked in the Yawm al about all these things. Okay, brothers and sisters, here the phrase an-nafhama is the file. Huh? See, Dr. Abdurrahim does not go in detail. Huh? It is mustar mawal. He did not mention it. Huh? So it now becomes wajib on the teacher. Huh? It becomes necessary on the teacher to explain. Huh? Some of the teachers don't venture into the, this because it's a difficult concept. But I found out that if we started in the early stages of our study with, with simple analysis of the grammatical terms, then we are building our 
you know, foundation. And then when Master Mu'awal came, you could, you know, understand, comprehend. But most of the people do not understand Master Mu'awal. And truly speaking, they get gabrified. They get scared. Okay, but uh, Alhamdulillah, we can understand it very well. So, file is your an-nafahama. And what is an-nafahama, brothers and sisters? Al-mastar, al-mu'awwal. Inshallah. Here are some examples. Okay. Now, we will do the examples later on. You can read all this later on. We have learned one of the patterns of mastar. What pattern did we learn, brothers and sisters? For all we learn. Sujood, ruku, nuzul, khuruj. Now we learn two more patterns. One is, brother, there is a typo. Fa'alun, make it fa'alun. Huh? There is a typo here. Fa'alun, brother, like zahabun, going. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? From zahaba and najahun from najaha. The verb iyabun means return. It is from Aba Yaubu. Brother, look at Aba. What do you see? What do you think, Hassan? What kind of verb should we should call it? Aba. Sister Manas? Aba. So, what should we call it, Sister Rahima? Ajwaf. It is Ajwaf. It is Ajwaf. Are you with me? Very good. Huh? It is on the pattern of fi'alun. So, iyabun is in the, on the pattern of fi'alun. Another example of the pattern is nikah. See? No, nikah is on the pattern of fi'alun. And zahabun is on the pattern of fa'alun. So, here is a difference. Fi'alun and fa'alun. Two different patterns. Okay? From nakaha, yankihu, babdaraba. Okay, brothers and sir, sisters. Inna. Are you listening? Inna ilayna iyabahum. See? Inna ilayna iyabahum. Brother, analyze. Inna arfu taukid wa naspin. Ilayna jar majur shibu jumla khabar Inna, khabar inna, mukaddam. Khabar inna is marfu, correct? You are right. Oh, where is the ismu inna? Iyaba. Wa huwa mudafa and then mudafa. Wa inna alayna hisabahum. Now you see, when you look at it, you know why there is a fatah and why there is a kasra and what's going on. Huh? And immediately you understand. Isaba is ismu inna. Iyaba is ismu inna. And brother, then you don't have to translate. You just understand directly. And feel the sweetness of the, of the sentences, brother. The eloquence of the sentence. And this is the miracle, brother. Quran is the miracle the way it has been composed. Nothing can match the eloquence of the Quran. Nothing will match because it is the kalama of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, inna ilayna iyabahum. Truly, uh, to, to me is your return. And truly, it's on me, <laughs> your Rishab Kitab, uh, accounting, ilayna on me, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, on us, on us. Okay, inshallah. You keep that in mind. Akallu, brother and sister, is a comparative of kalilun. Little, it is originally aklalu. Are you with me? Because two lambs are coming together. Aklalu. Like akbaru ajmalu. But as the second and third radicals are identical, the third radical has been assimilated to the Second radical. So you will keep that in mind. Eh? Now we go back to the main lesson. Brothers and sisters. So, walaid, brothers and sisters, 
Also write down somewhere near exercise number five, the vazan fu ailun. Write down the vazan fu ailun and highlight it. So that is your pattern. Fu huh? ailun and highlight it. Huh? So you now know this is the pattern. What is the condition? Sister Hafza, what is the condition for Fuailun? Three letters. The noun has to be three. If it is four letters, you cannot put this pattern. It is different. It is different. That will learn in book three, inshallah. No need to go now, inshallah. Walaidun, Waladun, Sagirun. Jubailun, Jabalun, Sagirun. Nuhairun, Nahrun, Sagirun. Kolaibun, Kalbun Sagirun. Sagir, make diminutive a small atiyata of the following nouns, brother. Rajulun, Rujailun. Kalamun, Kulaimun. Tiflun, Tufailun. Najmun, Nujaimun. Isn't it sweet, brother? This is very beautiful, brother. Once you understand, it's very beautiful. Now, brothers and sisters, we come to Tamal al Amsilat al Atiyat al Isim Tafdil. Kalilun Akalu. Mamnu min sarf. Diptot. Ladidun Alaz. Shadidun Ashaddu. This is very beautiful. Habibun Ahabu. Ahabu. What is the difference between Ahabu? And ahabbu and ohibbu, you get, you can easily get confused. Ohibbu is a verb. Ahaba, yohibbu, ohibbu, that is a verb. I love, okay. But ahabbu is a superlative or comparative degree. Huh? This is like akbaru, ajmalu. Huh? Ahabbu, it is a noun, and it is diptoed. It is on the pattern of of alu. Masha'Allah, Masha'Allah. May Allah bless you all with more knowledge, brothers and sisters. Okay. Now there are some beautiful, beautiful sentences coming, brother. Ikra ma'yali. Bakiya remain. Akallu minasati. Translation, brothers and sisters. Less than an hour is left. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So where is the file of Bakiya? Akallu. Marfu. Akallu. Marfu. Fine. Arburtukalu. Ladizun. Translation, brother? Orange is delicious. Watufahu. But the apples. Aladzu minhu. They are more delicious. Aladzu means more delicious. So, brother, Atufahu is Mubtada. Where is Khabar? Aladzu, mashallah. Huh? Abi Habibun Ilayya. Are you with me? Abi Habibun Ilayya. My father is uh, dear to me. My father is dear to me. Wa ummi <laughs> is more dear to me <laughs> than him. Huh? Of course, it's natural. That's the way Allah has made, you know, the status of mother or brother. Hmm? Allah has put the status of mother at such a high pedestal, brother. Huh? And there are many beautiful uh, sayings of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Wa wa ummi, brother and sister, ummi. How many words? Two. Where is our muftida? Ummu. Wa huwa muda mudafili. And where is our khabar? Ahabu. Huh? And see, Ilayya. Remember Ilayya. Huh? Okay. okay. What is Ilayya? Jarmal. Huh? Minhu from then him. Minhu will be then him. Comparative. Huh? Comparative degree. Sure. Al Bardu Al Yawma Ashaddu. Al Bardu Muptada Al Yawma Zarf Ashaddu Khabar. What is the meaning? Today is very cold, uh, severe. The cold is, uh, al-bardu, the cold is more severe. 
uh, more severe. Uh. Look at this, brother and sister, most beautiful sentence. Ma ahabudrusi ilaika. What is the translation, brother? What is the most loved lessons to you? Ma ahabbu durusi mudaf mudafilihi. Ahabbu durusi mudaf. Most, this is superlative degree, ilaika. Look at this. Ahabbu durusi ilaika. Ahabbu is your mubtada. Wa huwa mudaf. Durusi mudafilihi ilaika jar majroor. What is the most Beloved, most dear uh, of lessons to me is Al Quran Al Kareem. Isn't it beautiful, brother? Ahubu Durusi Leya Al Quran Al Kareem. So, what is Al Quran? Khabar and Al Kareem? Naat, mashallah. Here is another beautiful thing, brother. It's coming. The next one, number seven, six is Kana Tulabu Kalilu Namsi. The students were less yesterday. Well, Yauma Hum Akalu, they are even less than uh, today, they are even less than yesterday. Look at this, brother. Man Ahabun Nasi Laika, who is the most uh, beloved of human being to you? Huh? Who is the most beloved human being to you? Huh? Who is the most loved one you can say? Who is the most loved one of the mankind to you? Who is the most loved one of the mankind to you? That can be the most appropriate translation. What is the answer? Ahabun nasi ilayya, the most loved person to me. Rasulullah, he is the most loved person to me. Rasulullah, okay. Where is Muftada? Ahabbu. If you write down this, you will always, you know, will understand. Otherwise, you may forget. Ahabbu is Muftada wa huwa mudaf nasi mudaf ilayhi ilayya is jar majroor. And Rasul is the khabar, the most beloved person. Wahua mudaf and mudaf ilahi. And what is sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Parenthetical sentence. Put it into the bracket, huh? inshallah. Ta'ammal ma yali. Aina al kitabu? Aina al kitabu? Ha huwa. Ha huwa za. Here it is. Huh? Aina Satu? Ha here. Here it is. Okay. Aina al Ibrahimu? Now, Ibrahim is sitting somewhere. I don't see him. And I ask you, Aina Ibrahimu? And he wants to reply himself. What will he say? Here I am. Ha Anaza. Here I am. Ha Anaza. Okay. Yata Zaharu. But this is a different form of word. It means to pretend. What is it? To pretend. Yatadaharu al-mudarisu bil bahithi an al-shay. The mudaris pretends to look for a thing. Okay? And that thing is mudakkar. Ismu mudakkar. Fa yakulu ahdu tullabi. And one of the students will say, Ahu waza. So I am looking here. Huh? And Ain al Kitabu. And then one of you will say, Ha huwaza. It is here. You are looking there, Ya Ustad, it is here. Okay? And in the same way, see the verb, the Mahdi is Tazahara. What is the Mahdi? Tazahara. This is form six. We'll do soon, inshallah. Tazahara. What will be the Mutariya? Ya Tazahru. Okay, I give you, brother. Tasa'ala. Ya tasa'alu. Can you conjugate? Tasa'ala. Ya tasa'alu. Ya tasa'alani. Ya tasa'aluna. Amma ya tasa'aluna. Are you with me? These are form six. We will be, inshallah, learning soon, inshallah. Now, 
Now he is, uh, uh, the teacher is looking for a, suppose a watch. Aina uh, saa. Maybe he left it, he forgot. And one of the students says, Ha he and he, it is here. Huh? And then, brothers and sisters, now he can ask for somebody who is not, I mean, visible to him. Aina Muhammad. Then Muhammad will say, Ha anaza. I'm here, Ya Ustad. Okay? That's how it is, inshallah. Tamal misal from Kavin Jumral Mislam. Mislahu. Mustai melan fi yajibu ala. Brother, now we have to form sentences with yajibu ala. Mustaina bi kalimatil waridati bain al kawseni. You know, using the the words which are into brackets. Huh? Here is the first example, brother. Yajibu alaina an nafham al Quran wa naamala bihi. It is wajib on us, necessary on us. We must, we should, we to understand Quran and act by its commands and guidance. Now, in order to do this, brother, look at the verb. Here is yajibu. I have to fill in the whole sentence. The thing is, taktubu al wajibati bin intizam. What is the meaning of bin intizam? In a systematic manner, eh? in tazam, systematic manner, eh? in a nice manner. Eh? Are you with me? Bin tazam. Fine, brother and sister. Whom are you addressing? Taktabu. Someone, singular, anta, in front of you. So what will you say? Yajibu alaika. And then, an taktuba. An Taktuba al wajibati bin tizami. Are you with me? Yajibu alaika an taktuba al wajibati al wajibati bin tizami. Be in tizami. So this is very beautiful, very important sentences. So you have to use yajibu Allah. And after Allah, you have to give proper pronoun depending on whom you are addressing. Okay. Look at it, brother and sister. Tafazina. Who is Tafazina? Anti. So what will you say? Yajibu Alay Ki. An Tafazi. No noon. Surataini Hazar Isbu. Translation, brother. Whatever the sister is in front of you, O oh sister, it is necessary for you to memorize two surah this week. Huh? Now, brother, Yajibu Takhrujuna. Who is Takhrujuna? Antum. So, what will you say? Yajibu Alaikum. Yajibu Alaikum. Huh? Yajibu Alaikum. An Takhruju. Without noon. Huh? Okay. Minal Fasli, be Hudoin. What is the meaning of Hudoin? Calmly. Calmly. Okay. Brother, Yajibu, Tadhuluna. What is Tadhuluna? Antum. What will you say? Yajibu, Alai, Kum. And Tadhulu, Fasla, Kabla, Dhulil, Pudarisi. What is the translation, brother? Enter the class before the teacher enters. Very good, brothers and sisters. Now, Tadrusu. Or you. Huh? So, what will you say? Yajibu alaika. Yajibu alaika. Huh? What is Yajibu alaika? An Tadrusa Logatal Arbia. Why? Liannaha. Because it is. Logatul Quran. How beautiful this sentence is, brother. Uh, and now change this into, brother, Nadrusu. Uh, what will you say? Yajibu alayna an Nadrusa al Logatul Arbiya li annaha Logatul Quran. Translation, brother. 
Yajibu alayna. It is necessary on us to study Arabic language because it is the language of the Quran. MashaAllah. Whether Zahabu, Master, Zahaba, Yazhabu. Nakulu, we say, Uridu Zahaba ilal Baiti. Uridu Zahaba ilal Baiti. What is the meaning of this? I want to go home. That is what it is. You, you can also say, Uridu, uh, Uridu an Azhaba el Abayti. Uh, you can say, Uridu an Azhaba el Abayti. Uh, same thing, brother. Uh, you won't say in English, I want going to the house. You will also translate, I want to go home. Uh, to the house. Okay. Ya Ustad, Arju an Tasmahali bi Zahabi el Al Mustashwa. Translation, brother and sister. Uh, please allow me to go to hospital. That will be your translation. Please allow me to go to the hospital. I request you to allow me to go to the hospital. Kharashtu min al fasli. Kharashtu min al fasli. Liz zahabi ila mudiri. I came out of the class. To go to the Modi, to go, to go. See, infinitive. When you say to go, it means an azhab. Because you are talking about yourself. An azhab ila mudir. Hadhi taskiratul ta'irati. This is the taskiratul ticket. This is the plane ticket. Ila dimash. Zahaban wa yaban. What is the meaning of brother? Zahaban and yaman. So what will be in English? Return ticket. <laughs> what will it be? Return ticket. Is it clear, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Huh? Brother, write down Aba Yaubu. Huh? Aba Yaubu. Huh? Aba The first vow, brothers and sisters, the first vow is the kursi for Hamza. Huh? It is a kursi for Hamza. Huh? Fine. Al kalimatul jadidat. Ajnabiyun. Foreign. My fadatun wallet. Nakdun. Nukud. Money. Khataun. Mistake. Akhtaun. Akhtaun is your jama. Iyabun. Masdar, returning. Aba, yaubu, iyabun. Zahabu, az zahabu. Going, brother. Kursun. Tablet. Akrasun. Tablets. Tazkiratun. Tazakiru. Tickets. Huh? Kilogramun, kilogramatun, huh? unsa, feminine, jama, inathun, zakarun, jama, zukurun, bintizamin, what is bintizamin? Jar majrur, huh? jar majrur, huh? Huh? systematically, huh? in a nice manner, wajaba, huh? Yajibu. Araja ya to, to ascend. Huh? Balia Yablau to swallow. Brothers and sisters, very interesting lesson, inshallah. I hope you found it as I had found it. Especially the new sentences. Yajibu alaika, alayya, alayna, alaikum. We can nicely make it, brother. And plus the new form of verb. Al Misal al Wavi, inshallah, you'll do it at home. And then uh, Monday, Ajwaf. Well, that is more complex than Misal. Huh? No, no, no. Ajwaf is more complex than Misal. In other words, it is more interesting. And Nakas is the most complex than. than uh, then Misal and Ajwab. In other words, 
most interesting. <laughs> so please do. <laughs> now, now. So inshallah, you will uh, try and come, and uh, we will do it inshallah. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatau, wa fi l'akhirati hasanatau, wa kina adhaab al-nahar. Rabbana hablana min azwajina wa zuriyatina kurratayunin, wa ja'alna lil muttakina imama. Rabbana zalamna anfusana illam taghfir lana wa tarhamna, la nakunanna min al-khasirin. Rabbana taqabbal minna, innaka anta samir.